Arctix Ogre. The Valerian Isles, jewels of the Ibero Sea. Long a center of naval commerce, the people here have struggled throughout history for dominion over these shores. Finally, there rose a man to put an end to this conflict, your Galawa Oberon. History would know him as the Dynast King. Dugalawa took the disparate races of men calling the islands home and united them as one. He encouraged marriage between clans, forging bonds to strengthen his newborn kingdom. For fully half a century, the Dynast King reigned, and Valeria knew prosperity. But the embers of discord smoldered. Upon the death of the king, Abuna Branton Morn incited the ruling Bakro to declare the independence of their royal city of Hyam. Yet the schemings of the Abuna had only just begun. Backed by the Holy Lodician Empire to the north, Branton created the Buckram Valerian Kingdom, naming himself as regent. He would have seen his rule span the Isles were it not for Lancelot Tartaros, high champion of the Dark Knights of Lodis. Lancelot warned against such reckless expansion, and reluctantly, Branton reined in his troops. This left two clans to vie for supremacy in the south, the Galgastani and the Wallaster. Seven men in ten were Galgastani, and on order of Hierophant Leandor Balbatos, Galgastani declared blood war against the weaker Wallaster in a move to claim the south as their own. 
Valeria watched as the wholesale slaughter of the Wallister race began. Duke Judah Ronway led the Wallister in resistance. They were far outmatched. In the span of half a year, they had been brought to their knees. Bulbatos proclaimed the kingdom of Galgastan, and with it an official end to the blood war. But these things would bring no end to Wallister's suffering. A piecemeal resistance continued, yet with their duke in chains, efforts flagged. The remaining Wallister were confined to a small province allotted them by Balbatos and the Galgastani. There, the survivors resigned themselves to eke out such life as they could. Victory begets peace, and for once, the battlefields of Valeria stood silent. Yet none believed the calm would last. Tactics Ogre. It's as we heard, Denim. Lancelot's returned. Then it's time. Right, sister? Time to end this madness. We can't beat him, you know that. What are you saying, Kasua? You'd have us pass up a chance like this? It's foolishness to think the three of us might defeat the Dark Knights. They're the ones who have been foolish, and we stand to gain. Don't tell me you're scared. If you've lost your taste for blood, I'll do this myself. <sighs> That's enough, Vice. Let's go. This won't end well. And what do we gain by taking their lives anyway? Lancelot is captain of the Dark Knights, and they are the source of Barkram power. Kill Lancelot, and you remove one of the pillars supporting them. The Barkram will falter, if only for a moment. Yet that moment will be all the encouragement the Galgastani require. They want Valeria for their own. The turmoil of the last war has only just settled. And you'd start another. Are we Wallister so free of turmoil now, Koshua? We are less than vermin in their eyes. Insects to be crushed underfoot. If war begins anew, we'll die just the same. Shh, they're here. We'll fly. 
flank them. Denim, go round behind. Right. Who goes there? Friends of the Resistance, and no friends of yours! The Resistance? I expected a warmer welcome than this! <laughs> They're children! Wait, do you even know who we are? You're Lancelot, and that makes you my enemy! Uh, Lancelot is my name. True. How is it that you know me? How could I forget you? The Dark Knights laid torch to this town only a winter past. The Dark Knights? But we come from the kingdom of New Zenobia to the east. And Lancelot of the Dark Knights has but one eye. You have two. One eye, you say? Would that he lacked my name as well. His reputation, it seems, does me no favors. No marauding knights us, but mercenaries come looking for work. I am Lancelot Hamilton, a holy knight of Zenobia. And I am Canopus, the one they name Windcaller. Our aged companion here is... The Starseer, Warren Oman, at your service. Mirden Warhorn, a knight of Zenobia, as it please you. Gildis is my name. There now, no need to be frightened. I wasn't. I, I don't... I don't know what to say. Forgive us, good knights. But perhaps this meeting might benefit us both. We have need of strength such as yours. Ah, tell us your tale then. We are strangers in this land, and I would hear more of it. Vice is my name. It would seem that you are not our enemy. I am the Sybil Kashua, and this is my brother, Denim. Do not be so quick to trust, sister. We know nothing of these men save their name. You are mistrustful for one so young. Let's leave the children to play amongst themselves, Lancelot. We mean you no harm. Is the benefit of the doubt too much to ask? Where are your manners, Denim? Apologize at once. I swear on my blade, on my honor as a knight, I will be no enemy of yours. A good oath. Forgive our mistrust, Lord Knight. Already forgotten. Though you did give us quite the surprise. Now, do you think we might talk somewhere out of this wretched heat? We have just the place. It's not much, but it's secret, and it's safe. Tactics Ogre. As it is, we lack swords enough to face the Galgastani. The Bakram share our deficit, a deficit they've remedied by joining forces with Lodus. So Lodus sent them the Dark Knight's Los Lorian. Los Lorian is an order under the direct command of High Priest Sardian, 
ruler of Lodis. They are said to be the greatest of the Sixteen Orders and the High Priest's favorite besides. Yet he uses them not in open battle, but in shadows and secrecy. They are his ears and his dagger. They are as dark as their name. And these Dark Knights, whatever you call them, are backing the Bakram, eh? So, why are you come to our Isles? Does Zenobia think to claim Valeria as her own? Do Lotus and Zenobia mean to bring their wars to our shores? Enough, Vice. Your question deserves an answer. We are Zenobian, after all. Yet we do not serve as knights of Zenobia. We were banished, cast out. We're outlaws, no place waiting for us back home, no. We've come to find work, preferably of the well-paying variety. I don't trust you, and I don't trust your story. This is our fight. Vice, please. Lord Knight, you must forgive our passion. There is nothing to forgive. Tell me, what will you do now? For one, we have to get Duke Ronway out of Almorica. Duke Ronway? He is your leader. Well, not just us. He leads all the Wallister. The Galgastani hold him captive in their castle. They plan to execute him, if the rumors are to be believed. And we mean to stop them. A duke? But if his purse matches his title, a little rescue work might be just the thing. How about it, Lancelot? Look, I'm sorry for not trusting you. It's true that if we're to rescue the Duke, we're going to need help. Then there's nothing to be gained jabbering on here, eh? To Almorica Castle. Wait. The castle is well defended. A fight there would mean our deaths. And yours, Lord Knight. And I... I've seen enough of fighting. Enough of death. What about you, Denim? Would you have our aid? Without your help, the Duke is as good as dead. Ah, then it's settled. We will prepare at once. Why do you not heed me, brother? I know how you must feel. But what of my feelings? I don't want to lose you. Our father is dead. A hard truth. But a truth all the same. In all the world. You are the only one bound to me by blood. I couldn't bear to let you die. Forgive me. I... I know my words will not sway you. Only... Promise me. Promise you'll never leave your sister. What's keeping you? Everyone's ready. You can't coddle him forever. He's no little boy anymore. Do not speak to me of my brother. He does not share your lust for blood. I have no love for war, but I'd sooner die on my feet than on my knees. You would die on the backs of others. You were the one who brought them in here, Kashua. Because when I find a tool well suited for a job, I use it. At least one of us has the sense to recognize an opportunity. You should thank me. <laughs> Is that how you see people? As tools? I'd have expected more of a Sybil. I only want to see an end of death. 